Hey guys, it's Brian. Sorry for the lack of updates. I've just been busy. I've been having some opportunities with jobs recently. So, I was playing a match earlier today, and after the game, I couldn't believe what happened. So, I was just playing ranked on DB, trying to test out for nationals this weekend. And I'm still testing out some theories I have with the deck. But it's a modified version of a pure Endymion deck. And so I was going ahead and messing around on rank, like I was saying. And I was playing as this guy and I noticed at the end that Darren Stevenson actually came on onto the to view the game at one point. And I was actually trying to get the replay at that point. So when I noticed, I immediately messaged him. I told him I watched the videos, and and I just told him I noticed that he was in the room. He says, is that I was playing his buddy Tim, which Tim has been on his channel before, between him and, and Vlad. And when I realized, when he told me that it was actually his friend Tim, I was like, dude, I wrecked him bad. And here's a screenshot of the conversation, and there was more to it, but I was pretty much just telling him that good luck in, in the YouTube MP Grand Prix, since he is competing over on Seamless channel, you can go ahead and check him out. But I was telling him I'm using a pure Endymion on deck, and I wrecked him pretty bad. I'm still iffy about one of the cards that actually came up. But since Salomon Great is one of the most prominent matches that is going to be having, I figured this should be one of the cards that I should run main deck. But let's get right into the game. So I'm actually lucky where I actually win the Rock of the Scissors. And the card that I was referencing that I didn't have much promise one as Combat Grave. Combat Grave and Pendulums is kind of a mixed feeling, but it can and can't work for you. I try to run two, but it's for this specific reason. This would have stopped my combo, but because I didn't have it in my opening hand, it pretty much just saved it. So I go for Spell Power. So with Spellfire Mastery, obviously I'm going to add an Endymion. Since he was going to uh, go ahead and negate with Ash, I go ahead and use Call by the Graves to negate that, and he said he has no more responses, thankfully. So, this is going to be an excellent turn based on what I'm showing here, but I was trying to figure out how to get an extra monster without using the Garuda. So I use this card, Miss Obestiari, and I actually mill a Dark Worm which I was very surprised about but it's actually one of the targets I would like to hit with this since I am running a few cards to get cards into my graveyard so I'm eventually going to hit it so I use Dark World Effect go ahead and search for the scale get to get Servant's Effect to go ahead and bring out the Mighty Master. Use both of those monsters to go ahead and set up for my Electromite. Easy effect to send Jackal King to the grave. I just wanted to make sure that I did have it, because I didn't know what he was playing. And I wanted to make sure that I can get any monster effects as well as a magic trap so I have at least one negation on board. So I draw into a scale 8 and another mythical VCR, which is actually pretty good. And out of all the banished cards, I did banish Foolish and a third copy of Vesco Bestiari. And Dimion, the other call by the grave, unfortunately. One Serpers, Curtain Riser, the other Desires, thankfully. So two Serpers, the one Magister I'm running, and the other Dark One. So I go ahead and 
unfortunately was able to get a skill 08 to go ahead and get into any pendulum plays. But I do have to get Corona's effect to go ahead and get time years on my deck since it was still in there. I draw and I draw another Chrono. So it actually saves me the the opportunity to go ahead and not having to pop one of other card like my Garuda. So I get to still keep that and still go ahead for a pendulum summon. So I go for regular extra my hero to get servant out. That way I have more plays and I have my low scale locked out. And this also makes sure that with Mystical Bissier I can go ahead in the following turn just go ahead and go to further plays. So summon out Jackal King and Dark Worm using Pen Summon. Go for LP. Using the Time Gazer and the Electromite, I still need to do to the extra deck. To go ahead and get Trill Burst, using LP to go ahead and get the Strudo. And with the Strudo going ahead and linking it off to go ahead and get Arger Pain. Arger Pain's gonna get probably the best generic card for Pendulums in this case from the gates, which is, is the Odd Eyes Vortex Dragon, and then going into the Periodic Link. So if you count, I have five disruptions, which is the Garuda, the Heriotic Link, Mighty Master, Jackal King, and Vortex Run. Because I do have Mythical Bestiary face down in the field, I can literally just flip it up, put scales on anything, and ensure that Garuda will go off. So I decided to go ahead and just flip up the Mythical Bissiari. That way I can just make sure that I have the negates for Jackal King. So he's just reading Mighty Master and this is where it got real interesting. So he decided to go ahead and summon Foxy. And I just decided to go ahead and just glued it right away so that way I can keep my link arrows. And from there he just decided to go ahead and go to the game too. So going into game two, I was surprised at how much he could do because Common Great is a very consistent deck and usually plants one of two, three boards at the same time. So it goes for Gazelle. This foul out. Goes for the rage. And I was surprised when he just ended on Rage and Wolf. So as you can see, my hand is not that bad. Could have been worse. So first thing I do is just make sure that he doesn't have anything in the standby phase. So I go ahead and just Cyclone his back row. It keeps one threat off my mind because it Salaman Great's back row, especially Rage is really worrisome in this deck and having it removed just really helps out the matchup so he does negate the spell power mastery with the ash so I pr I'm pretty confident from here on out go for dark worm hit zero I do have chrono easy effect hit time gazer go into the electrolyte Really hope that he didn't have Ghost Ogre, and I'm thankful he didn't. Send Mighty Master. Set up the scale over with the other Dark Worm, so I can go ahead and not waste any other ones. Get Chrono back as my rank 8. Unfortunately, I drew into the Curtain Razor. 
So I just had the pendulum mount. Three monsters. Dark Worm obviously is the best is one. But since uh, let me pause for a second. If in this in the case of this deck, you always will need an extra monster if you're going to go for any of the guard dragon plays because of the fact is you don't want to give up the negations. So if you don't have any other negations, I would just pen I would just recommend just going ahead and sending a Jackal King to ensure that you have a negation for the following turn in case you do have a spell or want to provoke your opponent to use a spell. So I go ahead and go into the guard dragon place, which is LB, LB, and, and it will go ahead and after I bring up the triple burst dragon, we'll get out my Destrudo. He decides to go for Phantasmic just in case he's up in the gates. I'm surprised he went for the Gazelle. Oh, not really surprised because that is actually a better play if I would have destroyed it, but he did have Valence in the grave. So I went to the standard Argapane play. And since I am going second and he has a board, I send the Vortex in attack mode. And because Vortex actually says when this card is special summon, not fusion summon, just special summon general, you can bounce back one attack position monster your opponent controls. In this case, I just bounced back to summon my wolf. So I didn't destroy any of the summon grades, and they just can't destroy it. They just can't interrupt them by keeping them on the board. So I attack with all my monsters, making sure that Vortex is the one that kills Phantasma. And I go to for the hurry anything from here. So I just negate the effect with Vortex. And from there he just I need to have no he had no more plays. So if we look at what he had in his hand, at the end he had an Ash, a Valor, and a Fusion of Fire. Honestly speaking, I would have just Attempted the fusion of fire after going ahead and just seeing the end of the gate with that. That way, I could, he could have gotten rid of my heretic link because I didn't have a response. Because if we actually just look up at Purple Chimera, let's just see the materials. So Violet Camera. Yeah, he could have just fusion the fire my monster away. So that's something in hindsight that could have just prevented any future plays and maybe would have changed the game. Since he could have just fusioned into who that I caught, but then I would have had a response. Never mind. Nope, it still would have worked because reading fusion to fire it actually says and or either field as fusion material, apart from using your hand. So either way, I wouldn't have been able to stop it. And he would have attacked over both, or at least over the Vortex Dragon, which would have been one negate, and he still would have played around with his hand traps. But anyways, that's the matchup. Do you want to thank you guys for your time?
I hope to see you guys again next time. See ya.